Um, but I think for the benefit of the audience, um, if we can, if the board wouldn't mind us moving item G public comment up in front. And also, so Trustee Dice, I wanted to uh, let everybody know that the Wi Fi is up. Uh oh. So if yeah, anybody in the audience needs notes. to access it. Great. Thank you. There's a county glitch. Thank you. So at this time, if there's any members of the public that wish to address the board on um, topics not on the agenda this evening, um, if you will, please come up and, um, excuse me. Okay, thank you. Hi, Sarah Stillman from Emory Secondary Art Program. Um, I know that Bria is going to invite you to our, our Winter Art and Music Showcase, but I wanted to also acknowledge that Cliff Bar is hosting this event again. They've opened our doors, their doors to us, um, and have been incredibly generous and in, um, uh, featuring a place where our band can perform with a sound system and lights, and we have beautiful walls for our artwork to be on. So she'll talk more about that during her report. I'd also like to acknowledge the 45th Street Artist Co-op, who you know has been a great supporter of our arts programs. Sharon Wilcher um, facilitates this partnership. In June, they made a donation of $1,200 in supplies to Anna Yates uh, for their art program. And in November, they made a donation to my classroom of $3,000 worth of supplies. I've got more big numbers, so you might want to hold off. Um, and they're going to be doing um, about $3,000 um, $3, increments throughout the year for um, about a few different sections of supplies that we've talked about. Uh, $900 of these went to new shelves. Uh, we had to leave some of our built-in shelves at the old site. Um, and co-op volunteers delivered them and actually put them together for us. These shelves will hold student work for our ceramics program, which is going to be starting up in the new semester. Um, you probably have heard that our kiln has been an issue, and we recently were able to have the electrical upgrade for our kiln to work, and our volunteers, who are uh, professional ceramicists, Jeff Margolin and Jim Newton, will begin teaching ceramics in the new semester. Um, they serve about 200 of our students. Some of our students are uh, served during the regular school day. However, many of them stay after school, sometimes until 6 o'clock when I start to shove them out. Um, oftentimes I've looked over and I have seen parents who came to pick up their children with their coats off and their sleeves rolled up working with the clay. Um, so this is really a wonderful community partnership and I think it's definitely a model. Um, as we move into the ECCL, we look at sharing a lot of our facilities with community partners um, and I would definitely um, be open to help facilitating that. That's so great. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Steelman, I just want to say <laughs> you are a star and that's all, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to get myself in trouble. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, other public